Good morning ladies and gentlemen and this morning we're talking about adapter plates and uh, I'm going to show you first of all this is our 37DZ 6 speed plate. Now this also fits other gearbox models. This is a 530D 5 speed gearbox which obviously the 6 cylinder instead of the 4 cylinder engine in the BMW and the plate also fits that. Um, and I just wanted to show you a couple of little details of the quality of it. Very nicely made, very nice tight dowel pin. Um, and then we can see the, the hole alignment. Now the X's I've marked on here show the bolt hole positions that you can use with the 530D box, the 10 spline box. The 5 speed, that is, remember, the 5 speed. Um, you know, alignment. Obviously, if I just get this central first, obviously it's difficult without having it to the engine but, um, with only a single dowel pin. Um, we've got some really nice uh, alignment of all the holes. Lots of accuracy has gone into this. This is CNC made and then these are electri electro plated. 10 mil because we have to keep the thickness down with the BM boxes. Um, and then you can see there's two holes extra that are not used with the five speed that that 530D box and that's it on the 6 speed 37DZ. Now um, it is in some cases very important to uh, enlarge some of the holes just simply because from the factory the BMW holes won't accept an M10 so like this one and this one they're only a very small uh, hole so we have to enlarge them to 10.5 just to take the M10 um, and that's very simple. Obviously, of course, on all the BMW adapters, um, it's it's uh, crucial to actually take out a small section of the bell housing. It doesn't need to be as large as this. This is oversized. It would only realistically need to be maybe like a, a sort of a 30 mil cutout. I use a hole saw just to make a nice little cutout in that. So. I'll take you over and show you the rest of the kit. Oh, and, and that's that's one. And this is the other. This is the 53DZ. Now, this doesn't fit on either of these two boxes that we've described. We do quite a quite a wide variety of different um, adapters strictly for the BMW um, because they don't have similar bell patterns. There's quite a lot of different versions. And then, obviously, you've got short and long input shafts, so you've got two different flywheel sizes as well. So let's go over and have a look at that. What are you two crazy fools doing? Uh, we're like turning this into a little baby. All right, okay. What, like a, an eight-legged baby? Yeah, 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 like a spider baby. Yes, yeah, yeah that yeah. sounds good. And, so and you then... can climb up walls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like okay, it. cool. So, excuse the other items on the bench, but this is the rest of the kit. This is the, um, the aluminium flywheel. Uh, in the early days, we used to use a lot of steel flywheels. Um, and they give a really nice smooth drive um, there's many benefits of having the steel ones but obviously guys on the internet they read and they believe what they read rather than trusting people that have tested a lot of stuff like us on this particular setup um, and they wanted lighter flywheels so that's cool we can do a lighter flywheel so that's what we've come up with we've come up with this um, this uh, aluminium version and it is light. Um, I think this one with the bearing and the plate and everything on it is seven kilos, which I can show you on the old scales. Let's have a look. Wait for it to calibrate. Zero. Seven. Oh. This is the uh, what you get in a complete kit. Um, heavy duty drive plate. Uh, some are sprung on some kits, some are solid. It just depends on what you can physically get, what application you got. This is a uh, for the 535 speed box, so you've got a 10 by a 35 by 10 spline. Obviously, you've got your uh, zinc plated, uh, sorry, electro plated uh, adapter plate. Um, beautiful, nice, snug dowel pin, position, uh, dowel pin positions. All kits come with the Sax Racing uh, 765 heavy duty cover. They are awesome. We've tested that to 600 horsepower. 
Um, the flywheels have a separate ring gear, um, which is just heating up now. I'm literally just just warming that bad boy up now, which is what you can hear in the background there. Uh, and then that's going to be dropped on. And then the bearing in the centre of them is obviously a roller bearing. So, you know, you've got a lot of points covered there. Um, so yeah, this is our latest generation of the BMW kit um, and they all come with that, uh, those features. And it's a really nice, simple, easy way of getting the two items bolted up. Um, I did a little video to show you how to adjust your clutch pin pivot because that, that is a little bit different to your BMW standard. Um, it uses a standard BMW release bearing and it's quite a nice straightforward kit to fit and the good thing is if you break a gearbox you have issues you can swap that gearbox you've got no supposed heavy flywheel issues to cry about anymore there's no bearing issues which we did have some bearing issues in the beginning in the centers the spigots we've gone to rollers and they're much better um, and also you can see the quality of the the adapter plates the the cnc obviously these um these are steel but i'm sure everybody's seen the uh the billet versions that we do um, for other applications, you know, like the Nissan Patrols and uh, the Chevys and all that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, so if you ever need any other bits, you know, you need bits, bends, uh, turbos, you name it, um, Diesel Pump UK, it's the place to get it. Over and out, guys.